Hey and what is going on everyone, it is Zero here, back with more Diablo action. Today we're going to talk about another Death's Breath farming build, this time for the Wizard. You guys responded very well to the Crusader video, so we're going to do it again with the Wizard, since so many of you were quick to, to point out that Wizard is better at it. <laughs> um, I will note quickly that this build can farm up to a thousand Death's Breaths an hour, even more if you get lucky with Goblin Packs in your Rifts. Um, but it really uh, comes down to, in a lot of cases, the kind of rifts that you're getting, uh, your paragon points, because of your overall damage output is going to be higher with higher paragon, obviously, uh, and the gear, of course, okay? So this build can most definitely do a thousand an hour uh, and more if you get uh, goblin goblin riffs uh, I've seen some people claim as high as 1500 there's no way that's happening unless you get goblin riffs no way so when you see people saying 1500 uh, per hour it's not possible without like at least like three or four maybe even more goblin riffs that would that would just wouldn't happen um, but on average I'd say this build can do uh, I'm gonna I mean, let's say 600 700 with you know, average Paragon and average gear an hour. Um, as long as you have enough cooldown and you're really zipping through and you're getting good uh, spawns in your rifts, like, it can it can do a lot, and it can do a thousand an hour. Um, I've done a bunch of runs with it. Uh, I've done five runs with it. One of, the, uh, one of them I got, like, 600. Another one I got 700. Uh, one of them I got 958. And in the other two, I got just over a thousand, like a thousand and one, a thousand and four, or something like that. Um, so it's, and those one thousand ones had just like perfect layout, uh, tons of elites, a um, couple of goblin rifts, kind of thing. But anyway, it's a, it's a good build for farming DBs. So skill wise, guys, we're looking at electrocute, lightning blast, teleport calamity, storm armor, scramble. Diamond Skin, Prism, Frost Nova, Frozen Mist, Explosive Blast, Chain Reaction, Passives, Evocation, Audacity, Conflagration, and Illusionist. Uh, gear, we are again going to be using Sage's set, uh, obviously, because we need the extra Death's Breaths to really make this worth doing. Uh, without it, you may as well just run another build that is more powerful and can run uh, T13 with these. This build could pr could do T13, but it, w it wouldn't be efficient. So we do it on T10, T11. Uh, do it on T11 if you can really, really fly through the rifts. If not, do it on T10, and you're still going to get a ridiculous amount of death spreads. You'll still be able to do runs with a thousand an hour. Uh, it really just comes down to the the rifts that you're getting more than anything else. So when you see guides that say, oh, this build can farm 900, 800, 1,000 death spreads an hour, basically, you know, people test it, test it, test it, and they look at their best runs, right? You're not always going to have a 1,000 death spreads an hour run, let's face it. Sometimes the risks just aren't going to agree with you, and that's not going to happen. And sometimes you'll well exceed that 1000 mark because you get lucky and you get a whole whack of goblin rifts or something right and and the death threats just rain from the sky when that happens so uh, regardless you need to have sages set for the extra death stress drop uh, definitely go for all damage you can on your gloves so trifecta if possible if not get at least crit chance and crit damage on there with main stat and vitality boots try to go main like full tank on there uh, we are also running Talrash's set, six piece with the Rorg and the cube, pants, full tank, belt, full tank, uh, chest piece, uh, main stat, vitality, attack speed, go explosive blast damage on there. You want to boost your explosive blast damage as much as possible with the, with the build. That's going to melt everything for you. Uh, we're going with the amulet. Again, you can go trifecta or main stat, crit chance, crit damage, uh, or you could even go area damage, crit chance, crit damage. It's up to you. Uh, the helm, int, vite, crit chance. And then we are using, for shoulders, we're using a crafted set. We're using corruption, uh, int, vite, cooldown, explosive blast damage, 
Uh, we're using another set as well, Focus and Restraint. Uh, when you hit with the resource spending, you get 50%. When you hit with the resource spend, you know, the, the whole thing. Spender, generator, spender, generator. Increase your damage by 100%, okay? So go uh, either Trifecta or Main Stat Crit Chance Crit Damage on both rings. Uh, the first legendary gem we're using is uh, Wreath of Lightning, guys. We're looking for as much speed as we can get out of this build, and that's why we're using it. Uh, and you're going to see lightning flying all over the place. It's, a, it, it's, it's pretty gratifying to watch it happen. Uh, but we're basically using it for the speed more than anything else. Um, on the other ring, again, main stat, crit chance, crit damage, or trifecta. We're using Bane of the Trapped for obvious reasons. Best gem in the game. And lastly, we are using Boon of the Hoarder. Uh, if you can have this at max level, it's obviously going to be way better. Uh, I just haven't bothered to level this one to max level. Um, but even at level 25, it functions perfectly fine. It does the job that it needs to do. Uh, and again, you're using this completely f for movement speed. Uh, you could drop this if, if you want and go with something else that might give you even more damage. Uh, like if you're trying to push this on T13, for instance, I would drop this. And I would probably change the bracers as well. But I see no reason to, to do that. Just run it on T10 or T11. Um, bracers guys, we're using the uh, Orza Shane arm guards. Go with fire skills, int, vite, and crit chance on there. And the last two pieces, we're using the orb of infinite depth. We are using this for the the um, special affix on there. Each time you hit an enemy with explosive blast, your damage is increased by 5%, and your damage reduction is increased by 15% for 6 seconds. The effect stacks up to 4 times. It's so very strong, makes your explosive blast even stronger than it already is. And we are using the Wand of Woe. Uh, damage percent, intelligence, area damage, explosive blast damage, as high as you can get it. Um, Obviously, mine mine is not ideal in terms of the rolls. You'd really like a 10% damage on there, but it's got a good explosive blast damage on it, so I'm okay with that. Uh, use a gift on it, get a socket, and throw an emerald in there. Um, put your intelligence gems in on your armor and a uh, cooldown gem for your helm, and that's it. You'll just be flying through these, uh, these rifts like nobody's business. Just basic uh, gameplay style is th it starts off slow the build when you first enter a rift until you get to your first elite put the elite down as fast as you can if it's uh, if it's a champ pack and it's got its ads you have to kill all of them um, for your proc on what's going on in the cube let's talk about that real quick we've got the uh, in geome for cooldowns after killing an elite Nemesis Bracers is a must, so you can get more elites and the Ring of the Royal Grandeur. So the reason you want, like, it picks up speed really fast as soon as you kill your first elite because of the NGM and the cooldown. So once you have your first kill, you just want to teleport, te you just want to spam every skill you have constantly until you find an elite. And then once you find the elite, stop moving forward, spam everything you have until it's dead, pick up the death's breath and the loot, and keep moving. And just spam everything. That's all it is. You're just smashing buttons, going towards elites, and everything melts. Um, the the thing that, like, it's weird, like, we're using towels, we're getting the, um, the, the six-piece uh, damage buff from towels. Uh, and that's pretty much all we're using it for. We're not really using it for, for anything else. The, the meteors don't really matter. What's going to be killing stuff is the explosive blasts. Um, <coughs> it's a pretty self-explanatory build, you know? It, it just moves fast, man. It's a, it's a ridiculously fast build, as long as you can keep your NGOM stacks up. Um, if you have a bad Wand of Woe, I might suggest... Uh, equipping in geome instead and having wand of woe in the cube especially if you only have like an old wand of woe which at this point i doubt it if you're playing wizard you probably have a new one even if you're only playing non-season you'd probably have a newer one rather than the old one um but yeah that's the build it moves super fast uh it definitely in my opinion collects death's breaths even faster than the crusader build that i posted two weeks ago um, and it's way funner to play. It's just, it's kind of crazy to watch. It's almost like you don't even see the wizard uh, if you're getting 
elite packs lined up well, you don't even see the wizard. All you see is this like exploding blip just flying through the screen, destroying everything in sight. It's it's pretty fantastic. Uh, and that being that being said, it's a little bit squishy sometimes depending on what some of the elites have, but. That also comes down, I think, for me with the fact that the gear that I'm wearing is pretty bad. <laughs> like, no, it's not great gear. But anyway, the fact is, it can it can farm Death's Breaths like ridiculously fast, and it's super fun to play. It never gets boring farming Death's Breaths with this build because of just just how gratifying it is to just see this wizard zipping through the screen with these massive explosions and lightnings flying off it all over the place. It's really fantastically fun and enjoyable to just watch it even so that's the build guys um, I'm not even sure what the what the name of this build is to be honest <coughs> obviously I didn't create the build um, just one of the many speed farming builds I found uh, on the forums I can't remember what uh, what the guy called it in the in the forum post that I was reading but whatever it's super fast it does the job. It farms deaths for us like nobody's business. Go try it out. Let me know what you think. I definitely think this is a better ver better death breaths farming build than the uh, Crusader one that I posted. Let me know what you guys think. Is it better? Is it not? Do you like it? Uh, if you want me to cover the Man Alt Heal version of death breaths farming uh, build, uh, leave likes on the video, man. Like, 100 likes. How's that? Put 100 likes on it. I'll do another video about the other death breaths farming wizard build um, but I'm not gonna do it if you don't like the video because liking the video is how you show me that you want me to do more <laughs> hit that like button like comment and subscribe guys later